Alright, so today I will be showing you how to use developer developers products. Um, if you do not know what developers products it is discussed on the um, Roblox blog, I will put this link on the video description. But I will explain what it means right now, or try to at least. What developers products is that it's like game passes, but um, it's allowed to it's allowed for NBCs and BC users. You can you can also buy this product multiple times. All right, so I have the I have the finished code here that I've already set up, and I will be discussing how how and what this is or what this is and how it can work okay so what we want to make is the variable of the product ID so we can access it later so let's go local product ID now how can we find the product ID Hmm, okay, so go to your go to your um, Roblox homepage and then click on the develop. After that, the game that you want to um, sell the developer's product on, and go to the settings and then configure. After that, you'll see here developer's products. And now I've made a video about this earlier, but it was unsuccessful. Um, so let's make another one. So, whatever the developer's product you want to name it. So let's say, um, testing product. All right. Now after the testing product, what should we give it its description? Um, let's just say, hmm. Just a test. I did, did, did. Okay, so Robux also allows you to sell it in both Robux and tickets. So let's just do 10 Robux and 50 tickets. And then you have to pick a image to show this product so that when the user is going to buy this product it'll show it'll show what it looks like or whatever you like so it'll pop a window it'll pop a window I will be hiding this for privacy matters so after you pick your image it will show you what it looks like here after you after you're comfortable with all this, click create. Right now on the list you'll see the project's name and then its ID which is this and then price in Robux which is 10 and price in tickets which is 50. Alright so we take this ID we copy it for Mac it's command C for Windows, it's Control C. After you've done, you're done with that. Go on the Studio again, and then Paste, which is Command V for Mac or for Windows, it's Control V. All right. After that, now how I'm gonna do this um, the video is that once the player enters, the game will automatically ask them to buy the product so now game got players got player added um is a, um, a function built in on Roblox that detects if the player is added and then the argument which is which will be player um that it's basically like putting the variable called player it will identify the player as that variable.
I'm not really sure how to explain that. Sorry, I'm really horrible at really horrible at explaining some sort of stuff. But I try. I think that's what's important. Anyways, um, now that we've detected the if the player enters, now we need to um ask the game ask the game to um put up a dialogue. Asking the player to purchase the product ID, so we're, we'll do game get service, and then here we'll do um what what kind of service that we want. We want to do the marketplace service because we want to sell something. So place service, marketplace service. Um, all right, now. We've asked we've accessed the marketplace service. No, we're gonna tell it to um, prompt product purchase. So prompt spell it right product purchase. All right, and then there are two um, arguments for this. So first argument would be who would you want who you want to prompt the um, product purchase to, which is the player, and then what product it is, so we give it the product ID. So product ID. Alright now that's all we do here. And this will this will work if the player has enough tickets to buy the product all right now we need to make sure that the product is um this process correct this is required by roblox if this is not if this is not done something will happen something like wrong will happen um so let's just instead of having to type in um, game get service marketplace service let's just make it a variable um, oh my god okay I have a new keyboard because my Mac one is not working so I'm trying to get used to it all right so game get service and then marketplace service Also, if you do if you do not understand any of this, the wiki, the Roblox wiki has really, really good um, tutorials tutorials on how um, to do this. I am basically this tutorial is basically based off the wiki tutorial. I just thought if I do it in video, the visual um, learners can learn better that way all right so i will also put these links down in the description um for you to access for you to access them and if this does not help there's also um scripting helpers which is really 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 a nice tool for if you have like a question or um if you're confused about something Now let's um the th this variable that I'm about to type in is accessing the data store service, which is um the information that is stored within your game. And why we need this is, like I said, Roblox requires this. So. What we um, what this basically is is that we're trying to get the product history or purchase history. I mean, um, so game get service. Now instead of marketplace service, it's data store service. Data store service. And then. Now that we've accessed the data store service, we want to get 
the data from the game. So we type in get data store. And now what kind of data we want is purchase history. And okay. Now that we've created our most two important variables for our function that we're about to create, which is this. Um, what this is, is basically process. Okay, so what this is, is that it checks if the player has bought the, the, the product, and if you are allowing, like, let's say that they bought um, extra health. So, if they have bought this, then it checks if if the player if the player that is that is buying this is okay. Let me start over. I'm sorry if I got if I got you confused because I got myself confused. Um, so, what this basically does is that it checks what product you bought, and if you have bought a product that you um, are willing to give an award to, then it will give it give the player an award. There you go. Much better said. Um, sorry, this is my very first voice tutorial for um, Roblox. So, marketplace service the process recipient res reset uh. and then what would this equal is that um, function so we're basically calling this as a function and now most of you know that uh, I must put it in. most of you know that functions have to be called for um, for this case it it does not need to be called for um, because it's it's said like this and yeah so now for the argument for this function is that we need to get the um, information of the first res reset or re whatever um, so Let's just call this RI. I'm too lazy right now. Anyways, so now let's check um, for all the players on the game. So for I player in I pairs. Now you can also do pairs, but I kind of want to. I kind of prefer I pairs right now. Um, I'm not sure if there's any difference between these two, but. Yeah. So the game got players get children. So this would basically get all the children or all the players within the game that are on, or that are on the game right now. Um. Okay. Now let's check if the player um player's user ID is equal to the um user that bought the item. I um, player ID. So if player that user ID is equal to, I'm not gonna bother saying that word. Ri reset info. Um, look, player ID. All right. So let me explain this better. Um, at least if the player that that we're searching for on here has the same user ID of the person that bought the product if they have the same user ID or not if if so then we will do something here if not they will just ignore them and continue searching so now that we've checked for that we need to check if the if the product ID is equal to um, a certain product. So let's say that you have multiple products. Product 
cheap. Okay. Um, I've kind of a few products here. You know, if oh boy, okay. So if they have bought if the recipient info, um, the product ID, which is what they have bought. is equal to the the um is equal to this or the product ID. I'm not real sure how to explain that. So let's just say this is health. Um, we should also change it here. So health. And this would be um, yeah. Okay. So if it's equal to health, the health's ID then Oh my god. Okay, I must be confusing you because I don't know. Um so if the if the person that bought the product or if the product that you have bought um, if its ID is equal to um, this product ID, which is the, um, yeah, then you give the player, player, that character, okay, character, that health is equal to so let's just say that we're giving them extra health plus let's say we're giving them extra 50 um, health points if all right but what if they're buying a different product of that we made in our game or if they bought the um, death one so that they want to die for some odd reason so we do ri dot product id if well if ri is the product id is equal to the best product id so then we will kill the player and I am too lazy to type so I will just replace this with a zero all right now that we're done with this we need to go not one end, not two, but three. After the third one, click enter. After that, we're going to um, store the information of of the person that bought the product and what product they had bought. So this is also required by Roblox. So local player product key is equal to player which is the ri which is the person that bought the product their player id and then we connect these two strings and of course i forgot to connect this All right. So now um we need to say what they have purchased. So purchase is um the person that bought this product, the product's ID or yeah. Um or I for I keep on forgetting I have a different argument for this. Alright, so um purchase ID. Alright, so um uh purchase. So now we're going to access the purchase history and we're going to add it. We're going to add something to it. Um so purchase history Increment async. 
think that's how to say it. Um, and then the player log up key, which is this right here that we have put into a variable. And then what? Okay. And then we're going to give this a one for. We're going to place this. Um. Okay. So. Um. So a table is basically one, two, three, four, five. So this is a table. And this is the first slot in the table. So what this is is adding is making the first um is adding adding it to the table that is saved in the game and making this the first. So let's say that someone else has bought this and it's and they're the first and they're the first person that have bought the product ID in the or the product oh my god. The product in the game. So they would be the first person, which is this one. But then another person has bought the um product. So what the what the very first person would go to is they'd go to two. Instead of being number one, they'd be number two. Alright. Um and the, and the recent person that has bought the product would be the, the first person. And I am so sorry for getting, getting confused. This is the best I can do. Um, and then this line that I'm about to type, which is this, is most important. I know I keep on saying that, but this is all important. So now we're going to return to we're going to return this to Roblox so so that we're saying we're telling Roblox that we have successfully granted or successfully gave the player his reward because they have bought the product. So product see Roblox is so Roblox City is so helpful now it, you don't have to type so much. Um, I know. Lazy me. And then purchase granted. And then, um, let's, let's say that's all for.